guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mary Barfield. I'm a first time homeschooling mama to a four and a half and a six year old, soon to be five and seven year old. And today's video is going to be a part two in a two video series about how to use Trello and how to use it specifically for homeschool planning. If that is of interest to you, stay tuned. Okay, so in our first video, I went over just the basics. It was basics 101 for Trello. How do I even create a card? What is a workspace? How do I organize it just so it flows and it makes sense? Now, today's video is going to be getting into more of the frills and the fun. So I'm calling it Trello 201 Beyond the Basics, right? So we're gonna learn how to create a cover photo. We're gonna learn how to uh, include links, um, add attached documents, how to add a date and time that you can check off once it's been completed. Getting into more of the detailed aspects of planning within Trello, which this is going to be geared towards homeschool planning, but even if you're not a homeschooler, you can absolutely utilize the tips and tricks that I'm going to show you in this video. So without further ado, let's turn the camera around and I'm going to show you a screen recording of my Trello account. So for this example, I'm actually showing you our summer school that I'm planning in Trello. It's where we left off in the first video. If you have not seen that, definitely check the playlist below. I've got a whole playlist on Trello for homeschooling. I'll also link it above if that is easier for you to, <laughs> to click on. Um, but if you've already watched those, let's continue on into Trello. Okay, if you guys saw my first video on Trello 101 basics, this board should look familiar to you because this is what we created for my girls' summer school they're gonna be doing this year. Uh, you'll see that we had completed the first two weeks of their summer school. We'll probably be doing about five to six weeks. So that was the basics we hit. This video, I wanna show you guys more of the in-depth, detailed things that you might wanna know um, in order to use Trello to the best of your ability for your homeschool. So one thing we didn't talk about was how to add dates. So on Mondays, let's say we're gonna do their ninja class. I'm not sure if that's the day we'll do it, but I'm just gonna show you for the purposes of this video what we're gonna do. So normally what I'll say is ninja at 4.30, and then I'll hit enter. Then I click into that card, and right here you'll see a button called dates. So the date of this would be June 3rd at 4.30 and I'll hit save. You can set a due date reminder. I don't worry about that. Um, but this is actually really helpful, especially if you're sharing this with your spouse so your spouse can see what your activity list looks like for the day, where you're gonna be with the kids, things like that. Um, and then I'll hit save. And then what I'll do, once I've completed that, I'll check the box either here as complete or you can do it straight in the card right there. Um, and that just is for your record keeping purposes, um, but being able to have that is great. Another thing that you can do, just as I mentioned, is let's say your spouse, you guys are tag teaming homeschooling, so this kind of planner would be great for two people to use so that you're on the same page and you're not missing anything or um, being redundant in anything that you're doing. So let's say you wanted to add um, Mr. XYZ, at gmail you know you can then send them share the board with them and you can give them um well it depends on what level you have this is just the free version so i'm just trying to show you guys what we have as free version is they would just be a member so they have, would have access to changing it um they would be an admin so again, unless you upgrade, you don't get any other abilities with who you share the board with, but that way they can have access to this. Or let's say they're not doing the homeschooling with you. Let's say it's just your responsibility solely, but they want to see and just check in, you know, how are the kids progressing? Wait, are, did my daughter um, or did my daughter go to dance tonight? Or does my wife have the kids at co-op right now? You know, because we add in those types of dated items, you then can share that with your spouse and they can see where you are. So being able to share with whomever would make sense is really, really convenient. Another thing that I think is super helpful, um, especially for record keeping purposes, is going up here, clicking on those couple of dots, and then clicking activity. You can then see 
all the activity that you have done, when you did it, what you added, if you deleted something accidentally, if you copied something, just for you to know as you're updating your planner. But also you, if you have your spouse on this, they can put a comment on any of the cards and say, hey, way to go girls that you completed that science project or hey babe, don't forget, I remind me, I want to see the pictures from this, um, you know, field trip you guys went on. So you guys can have comments back and forth. Or if you guys are tag teaming homeschooling, then you guys can communicate, hey, babe, we were supposed to read chapter 10 and 11, but we only got 10 done. So tomorrow, can you finish up 11 and put it on the card for that, whatever you were reading. So being able to see the activity at a high level is really helpful as well. Another thing that has come in handy for me is being able to filter. So there's multiple ways that you can filter all your, your planner here. So you go up here, click filter. You can do it by keyword. Let's say you want to look up something with math um, or, you know, what lesson did we do? You can put the lesson number in there. You can figure out, oh, that was on Tuesday, June 4th. Um, or you can search by members. Let's say that you're, you, you and your husband are tag teaming homeschooling. Well, let's say your husband did Monday's work, but you're trying to find something that you did. So you would just say the cards that were assigned to me, I'm trying to find that. And then you can keyword search what you're trying to find that you guys did. Um, another thing that you can search by is due dates. So as we added, you know, that um, warrior ninja that my girls do, um, I could search for that kind of stuff. You could also do it by labels. Like for example, let's say you're homeschooling, um, uh, laws require that you submit a reading list to the state every year of what your child read. So what you could do is you could label all of the reading that your child did. I did read aloud, let's say. Okay, and then what you can do is, okay, now I have only read aloud filter here. So this would be the list. I would put the names of the books and the authors of what my daughter read here. Um, and then what I can do is I can print it. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button. Hit these three dots here. And I can print it by going down here, print, export, share. And then you would hit um, print right here. And then it would print it out in a long list of what your child has read. And then you can submit that to the state if need be. Something that is super helpful for us, especially with the curriculums we utilize, is being able to directly access videos within this planner. I'm not having to pull out all the different curriculums that I have, the parent guides, because what I do is I just put it all in here and it's a one-stop shop for me, which makes it so much smoother when I'm teaching my girls. So what I'll do in order to add the links is I'll click into one of the cards. So let's go into this unit study here. And what I'll do right now, we have the image here. We have our checklist for what we need to do for this unit. And what I did before filming was I went ahead and um, got the links from the curriculum we're using and I put them all up here in different tabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into the first tab. This is one of the videos that we'll need for this unit. I'm going to copy and then just paste the link into here. Let me do another one because there's three different videos for this unit. And then the third. So here, I'll show you. If you click on it, it takes you directly to the video and starts playing it, which is so easy because what we'll use is my iPad. And since Trello has a mobile app, I just pull Trello up on my iPad. I go, okay, we're on Monday. Let's go to me and my amazing body, unit one, my body. And then I pull up the videos directly on my iPad for the girls to watch. If you have a video or a TV that you can cast to, that's super easy to do that too if you want a bigger screen for the, your kiddos to watch. But this is just a super convenient, um, time-saving way to access everything you need for your studies that you're doing for your curriculums. And one last thing I wanted to share in this video that is totally not necessary but makes my heart happy <laughs> is changing the background photo for each board. So you'll see I have wheat, uh, um, a picture of some wheat in a field because that felt very summer to me. But in order to add that photo back there, because I like to do themed photos, you click the three buttons in the top right co uh, corner, then hit change background. And then what you can do is you can custom with your own photos from your uh, desktop. Or what I like to do is hit photos up here because they have a huge library. And since this is my summer school board and I like to stay on theme, I click 
summer and then I get all of these different things um different options actually you guys I kind of think I like these better hold on instead of the wheat we're gonna do mm, let's do the beach so I click on it and it'll upload it and voila behind me is the beach and a sunset so if you take a look over here on the left, you'll see that I have all my other boards for the rest of the school year after summer school's over because we're doing a year around the year world study. And so every board is one of the continents we'll be learning about and then next to it, what weeks we're learning about it. But if you go, for example, to my Africa board, I obviously have a picture of, um, um, it's like an African safari style picture, um, giraffe, there's some um, bush in the back. Uh, let's see, I also have Europe here. So I think I typed in Europe and that was one of the pictures from an Italian coastline or something like that. Um, we're gonna be doing a prehistory unit at the very end. So of course we had it in a dinosaur in the background, but again, not necessary, just makes my heart happy. Okay, guys, I hope that was super helpful for you. If you have any additional questions about Trello or anything I did in there, definitely leave them down in the comments. Um, I don't think there's much more that I can, you know, add or give you guys information on, but if I get enough in comments and questions down in the comments below, I will absolutely make a third video, but I feel like I gave you guys the meat of it, you know, how, what I use at least to get our homeschool planning done and it works, you know, perfectly well for us. Anything beyond that is over my head. So, <laughs> um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.